want to share with us like maybe the best piece of advice you've ever gotten or given and if you have any new professional goals um, after opening this great studio yeah so I opened it at the wrong time obviously mm -hmm. I opened it in December of 2019 but hey guys life happens you know you can plan and plan and plan and then life throws your curveball you know I, I don't mind sharing this um, not that I'm the most successful artist but my income will be greatly affected this year because of the art shows being canceled but hey it is what it is and I have to do what I've got to do so I'm trying to find any creative way to get out there and quite frankly it's working uh, I had a really good month last month even though COVID hit even though we've got a lot of unrest in our in, in society right now and people just aren't sure about things I actually had a pretty good month because I'm putting myself out there more than ever and again it's survival so my newest goal is survival uh, but I think the thing I learned from my father and from my parents is you can't give up if you give up the game's over okay so if it's not working if what you're doing is not working then retool you know step back there is a time to quit and I don't mean quit like quit forever but like if you're making something that's not working step back but don't get out of the business because this is a great business art is fabulous I, I can't imagine doing anything else but if what you're doing isn't working then you need to analyze that and I think for artists that's hard and I don't again I never use the word quit like quit and give up and go do something else I mean think about it and I had to cowboys loved them but they weren't working so I finally stopped doing that, but I did bring them back later when the time was right and I was doing shows out west because they love cowboys out there. So I had to quit that for a while, retool my or re, you know program my thought and how I was going to do it. Uh, same for Karen Lobcat. Karen is extremely successful all over the country. She does uh, the art shows, all the big ones, gets into everything, does great. But let me tell you about Karen. So Karen can paint like a photograph. I mean, look at this piece right here, this Alabama LSU piece. Fabulous, unbelievable. But believe it or not, a lot of artists can actually paint that way. But how many people can paint this? Okay, she's known for her miniatures all over this country. She sells even outside of the country, and this is what she can do. So even though she could do that, which is phenomenal, whoop, right there, she figured out her thing, and that is miniatures, and now she gets into every big show. She kills it. Uh, so again, you gotta think outside the box when what you're doing isn't working, and sometimes you gotta make a new plan, and my new plan is uh, definitely to survive and just keep pushing online, because online is the future. That's for sure. Okay, so Tom was talking about being able to adapt and change. And let's say you've been making art for a while, you're doing some shows, and things just aren't moving forward for you. How do you begin to get a critique or, or some feedback on your work and decide a different direction to go into so yeah. maybe you can start making those sales? Okay, so first thing is never listen to your parents. Um, <laughs> don't listen to your friends. They're gonna be nice. Oh, that's so good, you're so talented. Don't ever listen to them. Follow the sales, okay? That's what I always do. Follow my sales, whatever's selling. You say, well, what if I don't have anything selling? Well, that's what social media is great for. So put it out there on social media. Put a couple of pieces and say, hey guys, which one do you think is my best? Okay, people love the way in. And what'll happen, I do this all the time, and I've been doing this a long time, but I know, first of all, if I put it out there and have them take an action, it will go into more news feeds because that's how the algorithm stuff works on Facebook and Instagram is that they're taking an action, so Facebook and Instagram analyzes that post and say, hey, this must be pretty important because people are doing something, so let's put it in the more uh, feeds. So you wanna ask people, hey, what do you think about this? I got two paintings, which one do you think is the best, or three paintings, and inevitably, what what will happen is people, oh, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that, and, and what usually happens is uh, somebody will reach out and say, how much is that one? And that's what you want. You want sales. Follow the sales. And so, yeah, if you're, if you've hit a wall and it's not selling, put, come, you know, whatever you were thinking about, even it's stuff that's crazy, like, oh man, I can't let it, you know, I don't, that'll never sell. That'll, you never know. You never know, your accidents might be your greatest seller. You'll never know that, but you put it out on social media. If nobody responds, if you don't get anything, a couple thumbs up, that tells you something. But if it's really great and somebody loves it or a lot of people love it, you'll get that, you know, but you want them to share it, hopefully. And so ask them to do something to, to uh, you know, to which one's better, this one or this one, red trees or yellow trees, or is it blue trees? I mean, so ask them to take an action and that's how you get great feedback. Last thing I want to talk about is social media because it really is the future in online sales. I really think that is, well, I know it. I mean, uh, 
I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of sales online, a lot of print sales, uh, but originals too. People are really starting to feel comfortable. I think Amazon opened that up for us. You know, I was selling a lot online uh, a few years ago, or some online. Now I'm selling a lot online. I know Liz Lane next door is selling a lot online. I have a lot of friends that are selling online because people feel comfortable about paying online. Venmo, great uh, payment. You know, people are paying me with Venmo a lot now. Uh, I use the Square, send them, send them an invoice. Uh, but it's very easy to do. If you don't know how to do that, get someone to help you. Um, I, luckily, I'm a graphic designer by school, uh, so I, I knew how to run Photoshop. I've set up my own design, uh, my own websites through Shopify. But there's a great service called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. That's Fiverr.com. And it's contract people from all over the world. It's these tech kids that are sitting in some garage or basement in, in East Buddha, wherever, and they will help you with whatever you need done if you need social media help if you need website help and they do it as contract work very affordable and I've actually used Fiverr to help redesign my Shopify store uh, to help me grow my Instagram account all that kind of stuff because yeah as one men women operations we need help it's very hard to grow when there's just one of us and I get that uh, but I definitely think online especially now that the shows are kind of for a while, I think really take this time and focus online, but you've got to put yourself out there 110% uh, or it's just not going to happen. It just doesn't happen and you can't be shy. Um, you, you, just like at the art shows, you know, I think I do well because I put myself out there. I engage with the, with the customers. Uh, you can't sit in the corner and read your book. Um, you just got to really put yourself out there. If you want to be a professional artist, I mean, it's like anything, professional, anything. It's very competitive. Uh, but you got to make it happen. Nobody's going to make it happen for you. All right, well, that concludes our first program, our, our virtual um, demo with Tom. And we thank you for joining us. We're hoping to do more of these. And give us some feedback. Ask some questions. We want you to get involved with us. And uh, what do you think, Portia? I think this is great. Uh, and I think the things that you've told us today, Tom, are invaluable. It's really going to be able to help any artist who gets a chance to see this. So thank you for being available and being willing to do this for us. You're welcome. And I'm always happy to help. Somebody helped me. I want to help others pay it forward kind of thing. So if you're an artist out there and you need help, you need feedback, you can come see me, write to me, message me through any of the social media, and I'll get back to you as, as quickly as I can. So. That's great. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Portia. Oh, thank you, Carol. Okay. Bye. Bye.